Let's go to Sri Lanka. I haven't slept in two days. I am so freaking tired. But let's go to Colombo. But we only have one day in Colombo before we go to my friend's village, so we're gonna spend the entire day exploring. So let's go! So we started our day off by going to the Gangara Maya temple. And this is one of the famous temples in Colombo. It cost us 400 rupees, which cost about $1.35 US dollars. And I apologize if I pronounce any of these wrong. But the temple was stunning. I mean, look at the size of Isaac and then look at these statues. They were humongous. Now, some things to keep in mind if you plan on coming here. One, you're gonna wanna bring cash so you can pay for your ticket because they don't take credit card. And then also women are gonna want to wear a pashmina so you can cover up fully. If you don't have a pashmina, then a long t-shirt will suffice. It's fine as long as you're covering up your shoulders. Also, how cool is this painting? This was my favorite painting in the entire building. It like follows you everywhere you go. It's kind of creepy, but I love it. I can't remember the name of this, but your ticket includes this as well. So all you have to do is go outside the temple, go across the street to where the lake is, and then you'll find a second temple that you can go to. We actually meditated in this one, and it was so serene, but there was a bunch of crows everywhere. It was honestly beautiful. And it reminded me of Nepal with the prayer flags. And then we went to our friend's favorite restaurant in Colombo, and I can see why he loves this place. It was delicious. This is six curries with some rice in the middle. It cost about three US dollars and was probably the best thing I've ever had. One thing I love about Sri Lanka is they don't use utensils, you eat with your hands. Some people might feel grossed out about this, but everyone washes their hands and honestly, you feel so much more connected to the food and somehow it tastes 10 times better. Also keep in mind that the food is spicy, very, very spicy, but delicious. And then we tried these desserts. This is kondakel, this is mungkel. This is alua, and this is narangkel, this is abdela, uh, and I don't know what is this, it's some soup. <laughs> and which one's your favorite? My favorite is this, mungkel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And while I expected us to do a lot more, we were actually so tired. I haven't slept in like three days prior to this. I don't know if it was the eclipse or what, but we went back, we took a nap, and then we just relaxed because tomorrow we go to our friend's village. Dananjani, who was explaining the desserts, she grew up here, so we're gonna go meet her family tomorrow. And I'm so excited to get introduced and see some of the Sri Lankan village side. And just a reminder, my name's Nini. I've been traveling the world full time with my boyfriend, Isaac. We are now in Sri Lanka. We're gonna be here for about a month. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.